Hello my friends, I'm really excited about this tutorial because I'm going to show you how to boost your sales quickly and easily by adding a simple timer button to your MailChimp templates. With key shopping dates coming up like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, pre and post Christmas, this is something that you'll really want to learn how to do. There's nothing like a little bit of fear of missing out to really focus minds and increase sales. All you will need is your MailChimp account and a free resource, which I'll be sharing with you in just a minute. If you're excited about this, let me have a show of thumbs. If you're new here and you want to learn more about the kinds of marketing strategies that helped me build a successful business from scratch, then subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn the bell notification on so you'll be the first to know when a new tutorial is out. So without any further delay, let's dive into the details. So from the MailChimp new interface, you're going to click on a template. So I'm going to go to the left hand side over to the left hand side toolbar and click on campaigns. And then I'm going to click on email templates. If you don't already have one set up, you can just click on the Create Template button and you'll see there's a good selection of pre-formatted templates that you can choose from or you can choose from a selection of themes or if you're really clever, you can code your own. I've already got a template set up so I'm just going to click on it to open it up onto my MailChimp desktop. And I've got my template all set up and ready to go, but I just need to add a timer. So there is no timer block. All the content blocks are on the right hand side, as I'm sure you know, but there is no timer block that you can automatically insert into your template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to a free resource, which is absolutely fantastic. I discovered it just the other day. It's called Mail Timers, and I'll leave the link to this resource in the description box below so you can check it out a bit later. You can sign in using Facebook, a Google account, or you can just use your email address and a password. But I'm going to sign in using Google for the time being. And this is what the dashboard looks like, and it is so, so easy to use. To start building a timer, just go to the green button here to create timer, click on it. At the very top you can select a layout for your timer so you can scroll through and see which one you prefer. It's quite a large selection so there's something here for everybody. I think I'm going to go for this particular look. So to select it you just click on it once. Underneath you can see that it's brought it up onto this preview pane here. If you're counting down to a particular date, you'll need to make sure that fixed date is selected and you'll want to insert here the date on which your offer or deal expires. So let me just select the 30th of October at midnight. Okay, so it shows that I've got three days, five hours, 17 minutes and 16 seconds left to go. Okay, the next step is to maybe call your time or something. So let me just call it my Halloween deal. You can select the UTC time zone because it's just so much easier. But if you're just marketing to people in your own country, you can find your own time zone from this huge menu here. I'm going to keep it on UTC. Now you can adjust the font size by clicking on the downward arrow here and scrolling up or down to find the font size that you want. I'm going to keep it on 40 pixels. You can select your default language. You can also select a font. It's quite a good selection here. So I'm going to choose Bebas New because I like it. Okay. I think I might just increase the font size a little bit more to 50. That's better. Okay, next you can add your custom brand colors. So you can select a primary color, a text color, a color for your labels and the background color. So I'm gonna start off with the background color and I'm going to make it 
my brand pink ish. You can actually copy and paste a hex code here, a color hex code, if you want it to be really, really accurate. The text color I'm going to leave as white. Now the primary color is the color that's used for these dots around the circle. So I'm going to change those to, I think, something like, I think I'm going to make them black. A bit boring, I know, but it's just, I don't want to have too many colors going on. Okay, that looks quite good actually. If you upgrade to a premium account, you can make the ticker background transparent. So I'll just let you see what that looks like. I'm gonna make do with my brand color for the moment because it does stand out quite a bit. There are some advanced settings that you can use as well. So if you toggle this to on, you can check out those settings. You've got advanced colors. You can use a picture as a background. Again, you'll need to upgrade to be able to do that. You can add an expiry message just in case somebody clicks on the link after your deal has expired. So, sorry you missed out. And there it is in the preview pane here. And you can go through these various options yourself and just have a little play around and see what happens. I'm gonna stick with this as it is at the minute. Now I'm just gonna switch off the advanced settings and then I'll save it. Finally, I'm just going to click back over to my dashboard and I'm going to click on this little button here that says customize embed code because I want to make sure that when I upload this to MailChimp, it appears in the center of my template rather than on the left or the right hand side. So I'm just going to make sure this button, the center button is selected. And now all I need to do is copy the code by clicking on this button here. So success, code copied. I'm gonna go back to my MailChimp template and on the right hand side of your screen, you'll find a content box which says code. So I'm gonna select it with my cursor and just drag and drop it into my template. And this is where I need to paste the code that I've just copied just this minute. So paste and bingo, you'll see that my timer has been added to my template and that is literally all there is to it. Just make sure you save and close the content block once you're done. And that is now counting down to midnight on the 30th of October. And I think you'll agree that for a free resource that is pretty good looking. And that's all there is to it. You can now go ahead and add a timer button to your marketing campaigns to help you boost sales over the next few months. If you're going to be setting up a timer like this, let me know in the comments box. Subscribe to my channel for more top marketing tips, tricks and tools. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.